I love working here because of everyone and when I say everyone I mean the people that I work with day to day who sit next to me but I mean in everybody that I encounter as part of my job and just a whole range of people that I, I'm privileged enough to meet and work with. Yeah, it's awesome. I don't come from an art background, so this experience of working with exhibitions is something kind of new in my life. There's always new ideas, new artists, new things to kind of think about that you haven't thought about before. It's the, um, the diversity of the place and no, no day is the same. There is always something new coming through the doors that might be huge pieces of concrete being installed um, as part of an exhibition. It might be a group that we've never met before who are coming in for a tour. It might be an extremely famous artist. From one day I can be working on financial modelling and spreadsheets. The next day I might be dealing with a risk assessment because we've got steam pouring off the roof. Or um, somebody walks into the office and says, oh, there's an artist upstairs rolling around naked in paint, you know. Um, and who, where else can you work where that happens? You, you feel really part of a team and that like you really belong. And that's really enjoyable. I have loved working with the people, all the staff that make up Nottingham Contemporary, make it what it is, and the variety of things that I've seen um, and experienced that you wouldn't get to see or do in a normal working environment, if you like. Um, and I love the team here. It's a wonderful team of really interesting, intelligent, uh, kind-hearted people that care a lot about what this place does. I'm Wing Shun Smith and I'm the youth programmer here. My name's Craig David Parr and I'm a gallery assistant. I'm Jim Brower, I'm the AV IT technician. My name's Sam Harrison and I'm visitor services supervisor. My name is Andy Batson, I'm the head of audiences and partnerships. Katie Coolbard and I'm the program manager for Loudspeaker. My name's Mandy Newbold and I'm the finance manager. My name is Andrew Elliott and I'm the finance and operations director. My name is Nicola Murray and I'm the office manager. Cedric Folk Curator Exhibitions. One of my favourite things uh, is when we have the school's exhibitions. Uh, the young people come down and they look down into the space and they see their work exhibited for the first time. And you always get this kind of wow, excitement uh, and that moment. And that's one of my favourite things. My favourite memory was probably walking into the Mika Rottenberg exhibition a few years ago. It was the uh, contemporary art exhibition that really inspired me to move forward and study contemporary art. My favourite memory of Nottingham Contemporary was actually before I worked here I came to see uh, the Margaret Umo uh, exhibition um, and then at one point uh, my little boy stood there for uh, sort of 10 or 20 seconds staring at one of them and I could see him welling up and it was the first time I'd seen in my life like my child be impacted by art and I'm immensely proud of, to be able to work in a place that can do that for people. I have worked at Nottingham Contemporary for 11 years so before it was built but my favourite memory as there's been lots must have been our first weekend when we opened and there were people queuing up down the street it was just really nice to see. One of my favourite memories is actually the Michael uh, Bootler exhibition I really loved all the, uh, the wall hangings and, and the, where the kids could go and play on it. Um, and I was quite surprised by the fact that I loved it so much. Uh, one of my favourite weekends uh, was when we put on Alien Radio, which was a Afrofuturism Detroit techno night. Then the next day we put on um, the Sunra Orchestra, uh, which, which was just emotionally and physically amazing. When we did a double workshop and event on queer club culture as part of our Paradise Garage research uh, project, and we had a lot of really interesting discussions about party life and queer culture in Nottingham and nationally and how to protect those spaces, followed by a really fun and affirming voguing workshop. 
No, no. Obviously, I didn't learn that much. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite exhibition was the Marvin Gaye Shetland exhibition, which I wasn't working for, but I was in the brain book, and it was great fun. And my absolute favourite moment was when um, there was a young man uh, who uh, used sign uh, language to communicate uh, and he, he stood up and he gave a speech through uh, with the support of his teacher using sign uh, and it was just incredibly moving and at the end he did this great big thumbs up and he got such a kind of a uh, positive response from all of the other uh, children and young people that were in the audience, about 150 people that he, he kind of communicated with on a platform in that way and it was just, you know, incredible. It was really moving, everybody was kind of in tears. I think my favourite memory of Notting Contemporary was when we had Laura Favoretto's show and she reinstalled this vapour machine on the roof for a piece called Thinking Head. And the idea was that it would emit this vapour, which would give the impression that the whole building was alive with creativity and constant thought. Um, unfortunately, sometimes the weather conditions meant that it was more like fog and spilled down into the road all along weekday cross. So we got this huge national attention on the leading kind of comedy satire programme in the country and people constantly coming in to tell us, are we on fire or do we know that the whole road is blocked by fog? Um, when women who take part in the projects that are run um, change their minds about contemporary art, a lot of women come to the projects, the loudspeaker projects, um, not knowing much about contemporary art, not been to a gallery before, and sometimes not actually rating it very highly at all or not knowing what you can get out of it. And over the weeks, um, that changes and um, women actually like what we do, they find out about what we do and they change their minds about it and they realise that you can actually get loads out of it. I think my favourite memory was really appreciating the impact of what we do by meeting one of the first group of loudspeaker ladies. Yeah, it's art, but it, it's confidence and what an amazing thing to give to somebody and how amazing to work somewhere where that kind of thing happens. My favourite memory of Mountain Country is definitely the time when Okrio Pokwasili performed for the opening of Stila Rice Feminism's Gender Resistance. And she had just received the MacArthur Fellowship, also known as the Genius Grant, when she came to perform and it was just amazing. What I love about this place is the content of the exhibitions, the issues that we take on that matter socially, we engage with contemporary art, but also contemporary life. That's it. <laughs>